How did the kid from your school die? Autoerotic asphyxiation. Before the term was common knowledge. What they told us at the time was that he had hung himself. 1980, peace out, Randy, sorry your brother had to find you that way. Fun fact I got suspended for three days for an unexcused absence attending his funeral. Group of kids got skunk drunk decided to take a ride down a notoriously winding road. One guy was standing in the back of the truck fell out as they rounded one of the hairpin curves. Didn't make it. Testicular cancer at age 12. Really nice boy too. Suicide in the forest behind my garden. His girlfriend broke up with him, he didn't take it well. One afternoon after school, he walked down to the primary school near our high school and shot himself in the head right outside the entrance. Didn't know him well, but I don't think he had all that many friends. He always had sad eyes, but was very nice whenever someone spoke to him. Grade school. Rainy day. Bell rang and little girl panicked about being late ran out in front of a school bus. I saw it happen. This one guy at my high school tried asking out this girl. The girl's brother and a group of his friends jumped him, did some unspeakable things to him and the entire school found out about it. He was missing from school for months because he was in the hospital. Eventually he came back to school, but people stared at him. It must have ate away at him because during the summer, his family went on a cruise and the guy jumped off the cruise ship and drowned. He was playing football and randomly passed out. Never woke up again. Fight with another kid. Got punched in the head, hit the ground, lights out. I was friends with both of them. Edit for those asking what happened to the other kid, I don't know. I never saw him again. He was 11, which is too young for juvenile detention in California. Kidnapped, raped and murdered by a serial pedophile killer nicknamed the man with the mask during school camp. We played together three days before. The killer had a spree over decades in different countries. Craziest part is a soldier stationed close to the campsite saw the man and my friend in a car during a night run in the woods. Shortly after, the soldier was sent to Iraq. Years later after he returned, he heard about the case and remembered that night and the car model he saw. This clue led to the arrest, trial and sentence of a previous suspect. Grade 5 he was playing with his little brother when they found their dad's duty pistol. Little brother shot him right between the eyes. Can't imagine how the little brother feels. Was about 50 years ago. Fell off a jet ski and then got hit by it when the driver turned around. Drowned. Just didn't wake up one morning. His mum found him dead in his bed. Turned out he had some condition they had no way of knowing about. Can't imagine anything worse as a parent. In middle school my neighbor accidentally shot killed his best friend while hunting. Years later he was beheaded by the Taliban along with two English men. Unbearably sad. He and two friends were fucking around with a shotgun, it was loaded and killed him. One of the friends the one holding the gun I believe committed suicide a month or so later from the guilt. Three people died shortly after graduation in a head-on collision with a semi-truck. Edit since I've had a couple people ask, this was in Northern CA, Sacramento area. Edit again up for you and Generix's response to this comment to visibility. That chain has the whole story complete with a fun guessing game. Him and his dad fell through the ice in their ice vehicle and they drown. An electrician screwed up rewiring her family's house so a live wire was touching a metal pipe connected to the bath. Her mum was wearing rubber work boots when she filled the bath so wasn't electrocuted but she must have accidentally brushed against the tap, or gone to add some more water while submerged and was killed instantly. We lived in a very small town where everyone knew each other so it really rocked our community. She was in the grade above me so would have been around 10-11. He was playing inside a cardboard box on an industrial wharf when a truck backed over the box. Even at a young age, I felt very sorry for truck driver, he thought the box was moving because of the wind. Like five of them died of drunk driving accidents, three of them at one time. 
little redneck school in the middle of nowhere apparently people seem to think drinking and driving is the only way to have fun. There was the one kid in elementary school who was riding his bike and got hit by a car. The school's infinite wisdom was to reiterate the dangers of not wearing your helmet while riding a bike. Fantastic memorial. There was the guy who drunk drove into a pole to avoid a squirrel, as the surviving passengers put it. But the hardest one to think about was my kindergarten classmate. She survived, but her baby sister was killed in the Oklahoma City bombing. Got his head blown apart with a shotgun by another kid from my school. Hit by a drunk driver while in a car with four people. W.S. ejected 30 from the back seat. Mans got up, walked to a burning car, actually ripped the door off, pulled out all three other people and dragged them 10-15 away, then collapsed. Succumbed to his injuries at the hospital later, apparently had a broken femur, collarbone, wrist and arm, amongst other things. The other three only had minor injuries, and the car exploded like three five minutes after he pulled them out. Dude was actually a hero. Suicide Sadly we had two die from suicide and one in a drunk driving accident. All within three months of each other. That was awful. Older student broke into the chemistry lab, joking around with his friends, sniffed some chemical that I can't remember. I was at my break and just heard the sirens. I don't think anyone I went to school with is dead yet but I know one of my old classmates is on death row in Florida, so that's got to count for something. Ran over a nest of wasps in his riding mower. Went into anaphylactic shock. Ran over by the mower. In high school, girl who sat next to me for more than two years we were seated in alphabetical order went to a party one weekend senior year, got drunk and decided to walk home in the dark on nearby railroad tracks. Run over by a train and died. Her seat sat empty for the remainder of senior year. Almost 40 years later and I still remember her name and exactly what she looked like before the incident. 260Z wrapped around a tree 20 feet up in the air after running off an embankment going over 100 miles per hour. Front and rear bumpers on passenger side were touching. They used two tow trucks to get the car to slide down the tree. Needless to say, closed casket funeral. Toxic shock, car accident, leukemia, motorcycle accident. He was kidnapped in 1989 and his body wasn't found until 2016. His mother went on to start the Crimes Against Children Registration Act in 1993. Wrestling team bully with anger management issues punched an elderly man in a road rage incident and the elderly man shot him dead, and was acquitted as it was deemed self-defense. Self-inflicted shotgun to the head. She was mercilessly bullied throughout school. Junior year of high school and it was too much. The school and diocese consistently turned blind eye to bullying and other disciplinary complaints towards children from priority families. The priest had the audacity at the funeral to talk about the selfishness and sin of suicide. In childbirth, she was just 14. Multiple kids at my school died. One committed suicide in his car. One died of cancer. One jumped in front of a train after an argument with his parents. One died of kidney disease and the last one I can remember died in a car accident. Super sad. In grade 11, a kid in my class died in a motorcycle accident. His cycle slipped and he got hit head-on by a semi in front of his parents. He wasn't popular though, so when it happened, it was just a quick announcement at the start of class, and then life moved on. Several weeks later, a popular kid was drinking and driving and was in a near-fatal accident of his causing. That was a week-long tragedy in the school, even the fucking teachers joined in. Fuck CHSS. His brother shot him in the head while he slept. Tried to kill his parents too. Three kids died during my last year of high school. First was from a car accident. Second was from hypothermia and the third died in her sleep, I never got the explanation for it. Safe to say we were all in a weird headspace that year. A girl got squished in the carousel of progress at Disneyland. It was a huge story at the time. Polio. After the summer holiday in 1955, she just never returned to school.